Okay, I woke up to a winter wonderland this morning of my own making. Uh, left the sprinklers on last night. They're still running. Maybe you can see them. Um, left the sprinklers running last night because it was going to get below freezing, which it obviously did. Icicles everywhere. Uh, in hopes. I guess they're starting to melt. I see some ice falling. In hopes that uh, I didn't pick everything yesterday, and I'm hoping that uh, maybe this ice insulated. Uh, I've got a lot of peppers. Uh, I picked some some big squash <clears throat> yesterday, and I'll show them to you in a little while. But I'm hoping that the uh, that this uh, ice will insulate all these peppers. I uh, got a lot of peppers. Um, boy, it'll sh that ice will sure knock a <laughs> knock a okra over, won't it? <laughs> um, I'd already picked the corns. So that's not a problem. I just hadn't pulled the stalks yet. But uh, I don't know. Down here, we don't see much of a winter wonderland very often, so this is pretty cool. Uh, but I've still, like I say, I've got tons of peppers here. All this out here was the uh, uh, squash and uh, pumpkins and uh, when I say squash, I'm talking about the uh, the winter squash, the vining squash. Okay, things. Maybe I am gonna cut the sprinkler off because things are starting to. Uh, I think gonna start melting, so let me just turn this off. <clears throat> and I know I'm losing the squash, but I was hoping because I didn't pull all of them. I've still got a few pumpkins. Uh, let's see, got one little pumpkin right there, one over there. <clears throat> Several of them scattered out in here. I'm going to let it go. Uh, this is going to be my last night to run the sprinklers because it, uh, isn't it pretty? Because it, uh, it's going to be below 30 the next three or four mornings. So uh, I just wanted to save it, try to save the peppers and such if I can get out here. <laughs> Dog trying to eat the, eat the ice. So I can, uh, uh, harvest them and, and go ahead and I'll probably dehydrate these. Uh, here's my pepper, pepper plants and I've got, uh, like I say, I still got some big, big peppers. That's uh, eight or ten inches long. Um, <clears throat> I've got a bunch of them that big. So, um, what I'll do you know that, and I was wanting to uh, to save some of these for uh, uh, for seed. So anyway, I'm hoping this. Uh, I'm hoping the ice protected them. I just didn't get out here yesterday to pick like I should have. My own fault. So this will start melting, and uh, these are my tomatoes. And I've got a few. They're all green, so I'm gonna have to take them in, let them ripen. But uh, quite a few, another cluster of icy tomatoes there, another cluster of icy tomatoes there and there. So it's starting to drip. Hopefully, when it uh, <coughs> hopefully when it melts, will uh, uh, they'll still be good. And I have insulated ice is, a, is an insulator, and uh, so. Um, Hopefully it insulated it, and uh, and these the the peppers and such will still be good. That is kind of pretty to wake up to here in beautiful Texas. We don't get scenes like this a whole lot, <coughs> at least not in my part of Texas. But it's a scene of my own my own making with the water sprinklers. I uh, will say one unexpected consequence was <laughs> this apple tree here. Uh, she was a little too close to the sprinklers and got got wet and icy. I may have to straighten her up by myself. 
hopefully uh, hopefully I didn't mess her up too bad. Sun, it's going to be a while before the sun hits her because I got a big pair blocking her way. But anyway, maybe she'll straighten up on her own. I won't have to mess with her. But otherwise, I sure bend her over pretty good <laughs> with that eyes. With that <laughs> uh, I need to rethink this next time, maybe. Okay.